Nadine Hill. Thanks for stopping by and joining the conversation. Today's subject is lazy summer days versus child boot camp. Which camp are you in? My kids have got six weeks to fill this summer and it's my job as chief entertainment officer to steer this good ship, awesome summer vacay, so that by September, my children are well rested, they've had lots of fun, they're refreshed, and they're ready for September when the school calendar starts again and the routine starts again in earnest. So my take on it is, lazy summer day. So that might surprise you a bit, because I'm a massive fan of structure. I like lists, I like routine, I like order, being organised. My blog is called Juggle Mum and I think that says it all. Just like on a really good cruise ship, behind the scenes there's a, a massive structure in place and there's somebody somewhere whose job it is to anticipate your every need and pre-plan for that need so that when you suddenly decide at 10am, 10.30 that you want a nice lolly, there are some there available, you can just go and get one. And that's the way I run our summer holidays. Um, effectively, my job is to make sure that the chugga chugga train carries on running, but for the kids, I like them to have a lot of unplanned time. My reason for this is I actually think that children develop creativity through being bored. So what they'll do after the initial where's the next piece of entertainment that's laid on for me, once all of that's vanished and they've felt the boredom, they'll actually go and create ways to keep themselves amused. Making their own decisions about the ways they're going to spend their time means that they can make those decisions, they learn how to choose options, they're developing problem solving skills because the problem is I'm bored, what am I going to do? And they actually have to come up with a solution for that, for themselves. And then every time they exercise that option and every time they choose their own activity, they're flexing that decision making muscle and they're becoming confident in their own decisions and they're having faith in their own decisions and they're enjoying themselves because they've created the play and I think that gives them more self-reliance and more confidence. When they have the day mapped out for them every second of the day, they never learn that self-reliance because they just go through the motions like little robots. And I don't want a couple of kids as robots. <laughs> lazy summer days for them doesn't actually mean a lazy summer day for me. I've got all of the planning to do in the background, but by allowing them some time to have the unstructured time, they develop confidence in themselves and they become more creative and use that problem solving skill. So my vote, lazy summer day. 